Today was the New York Jets' first scrimmage. And we were very hyped whenever we heard this news. Yay, we're finally having a scrimmage. Finally getting to see how the offense is going to do in like a real game situation. Well, let me tell you, we did not do very good at all. So if you don't know, scrimmages is like where you kind of play. So the first team offense plays against the second team defense. And the second string offense plays against the first team defense. And, you know, it's kind of to see. Usually the starters win, but that wasn't the Jets' case today. Um, yeah, Ashton Davis. So let's just kind of look at Connor Hughes' tweets from everything. Uh, Connor Hughes is, like, <laughs> the best New York Jets fan, not fan account. Today, the New York Jets decided to have a scrimmage. If you don't know what a scrimmage is, a scrimmage is where the first team and the second team play each other. And usually the first team always wins, mostly because of the first team. But not in the New York Jets case today. The second team dominated the first team. And this is really bad. Connor Hughes did live, live tweets of the whole entire scrimmage. And I'm going to be looking at that. So buckle in for some bad news Bears. Bad news Jets, really, because the Bears are actually a football team. And I was kind of using that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. A note before we start. Denzel Mims was running around the fields today, meaning he is getting healthier. Rashad Perriman is going to be playing, practicing on Sunday. Pierre Z was also walking around with Denzel Mims. And Jabari Zuniga was also doing some stuff. So Mims, Zuniga, Dazir, Perriman should be coming back soon. And Perriman is for sure coming back. So I just wanted to say that before we get started. And Lawrence Cager uh, he hurt his knee yesterday in practice, and, you know, it wasn't supposed to be major, but then they noticed that it was swelling, so that's not good either. Alrighty, so, Ashton Davis returns to the kickoff. Ashton Davis is going to be the starting kick returner, and then he goes back to the second string defense. The Jets' offense goes three and out against the second team defense, Jeff Smith, Failed to turn around on a third down pass. Jeff Smith is a, you know, not a newbie, but, I mean, he w didn't play much last year. And, you know, this year, I mean, he's not exactly proven a starter. He had a solid camp, but maybe, uh, let's hope, his stuff that, you know, transition in camp goes into, you know, actual games. But it, on this pass, it doesn't look like it did too, too good. Um, Mike White is going to be the second team quarterback. And then the Jets' backup offense marched down the field against the defense a night, and then Mike White had a nice pass to Barry Oates. Barry Oates also had a nice catch. It was like a toe drag swag catch. Man, that was saucy. But after picking up a pair of first downs, the second team the offense drive stalls. The Jets pass on a 55-yard field goal. Man pumps man. Brady Man, Pro Bowler this year and for the next 500 million years. Putts, punt, man's punt, pins him down deep. Now, the 55-yard field goal maybe could have been hit by Brett Maher, but they weren't going to risk anything. Darnold then completed a pass to Chris Hogan, but then Hogan fumbled. The defense recovers, and the offense is now 0-2 against the second-team defense. Third drive for the offense begins with Sam Darnold falling down. That's not a good sign. Darnold, uh, so then Darnold moves the chains on a third and 14 with a pass to Chris Hogan. Then another first down pass to Herndon. Offense getting somewhere. So now we're all high. Now we're just thinking all those things were, you know, kind of mishaps. And then Darnold misses Herndon on a wide open, not a wide open, but he misses Herndon on a would-be touchdown. So, and then on the next play, he throws a pick six right to Ashton Davis. Now, in the media, it was no one knew if it was a pick six or if it was tackled. A lot of reporters were saying it wasn't a pick six. Connor Hughes was saying it was a pick six. I'm going with what Connor Hughes said, mostly because I wasn't at the practice and I don't know for myself and I trust Connor the most. So that's why I believe it was a pick six. Now... They put, now he said that Dar he did not know what Darnold was doing on that pick. Just a silly, silly mistake. Now, more James Morgan comes in for Mike White. 
Morgan Barrios connect on a one-yard touchdown. Um, before that play, Morgan and Chesson for a big first down on a third and long against starting defense. The reserve all offense is threatening. Now, obviously, now they're getting into the kind of disagreement about if it was a pick six or not, blah, 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 blah. And then Frank Gore with a 14-yard run. Um, I believe he is the uh, backup running back on the first team. He's playing reps with the first team, so that's the offensive line open up the hole for that. Obviously, no noise about Le'Veon Bell. We'll talk about him later, though. But Frank Gore with a nice 14-yard run, and apparently he's being the best running back in training camp. Darnold completes a long pass to Crowder on a fourth and one, but it was, you know, ter- didn't even happen because of the hold on the offensive line. Is it coming back to us? The nightmares of the offensive line last year? Let's hope not because I think Joe Douglas did an amazing job. Maybe these players, they need to get together more. I mean, the season's not starting tomorrow. We still have two weeks to practice. And, I mean, I know we're already weekend, but, I mean, chemistry, I don't think usually, maybe it doesn't build as fast, but maybe they're getting there. Now, he said that if the Jets can't move on the back of Jets' defense, we might be in some trouble against Buffalo. And then all of a sudden, the Michael P. Ryan broke off for a 79-yard touchdown run against the Jets' starting defense. A great, great cut in the hole, then off to the races. So, the Michael P. Ryan is doing very, very good. He impressed coaches and everyone with his ability. Fourth-round draft pick is shining so far. This, you know, second-team defense is just shining. He's uh, Connor Hughes said he hasn't seen Bell the last couple of drives. Gore ran for a no game, then a sack, then a pass short of the sticks. Starting offense punting again. Nice Braden man action though. Yeah, it must have been a good punt. Greg Van Roden got hurt, then was replaced by rookie Cameron Clark. So we're seeing all of our fourth round rookies in action today. Cool. Alrighty, then it's a possibly not a great sign that the Jets' starting defense has generated no zero percent pressure. No pressure at all. Terrell Basham got hurt in practice yesterday on his Instagram story. Said it was just a sprain. So he probably is coming back soon. But no pressure. Come on, Jenkins. I mean, we got to pick up our game a bit soon. Niga's going to come in. Now, obviously, this offense, uh, this reserve offense might be just balling out. But, I mean, I think this was just a down day for him. It was not a good day. Maybe with the Jets generating zero, zero pressure, maybe this will urge Joe Douglas to go out and sign a or trade for Yannick Ngokwe. Obviously, it's a very, it's a high risk or it's a high risk and a good reward type of situation. You could be trading for Yannick, go give out a second round pick and like possibly even a fourth, maybe even a player. And in return, you might even get Yannick for one season. It's a very high risk and to pay him $17 million. Also, I will talk about this a bit more, but the receivers aren't looking too great today. And it might be time to add another guy into the room. David Fells comes in after James Morgan, and he finds Barrios for a thirst on a third reserve offense, moving against starting defense. Then he said maybe the Jets should try to boost the offense confidence by going against the number one D. Maybe. Um, Barrios was like the man of the hour today, the man of camp. He had an impressive, he had some impressive catches yesterday, and then now he's having impressive, like, catches against the starting defense. I mean, this is very good. I mean, this was the starting defense last year. Jamal adams list. But let's hope Jamal Adams isn't the problem of all this. I don't think he is. The Jets drive stalls after penalty, but Sam Thuken drills a 40-yard field goal. The Jets' backups are 27 or 20, depending on Davis's interception. Starters, zero. Um, Sam Thuken obviously hitting a 40-yard field goal. It's pretty good. Um, Josh Andrews is at guard for Van Roten. Still no bell. Perrine is getting first team reps. Perrine. On Perrine's first rep, the starter, he bursts around the left side for a 36 yard gain. He looks really, really good. So that's good for our fourth round rookie. Perrine is just doing amazing. Correction. Josh Andrews isn't in for Van Roten. It's Jonathan Harrison, the Jets center last year. He's a very versatile guy, can play, you know, guard or center. 
Um, so then the starting Jets offense working against the backups had six possessions, scored zero points, turned it over three times, two fumbles, punted three times, and picked up five, sold a first down. Starting D wasn't any better. Backups 27, starter zero. I missed a tweet, and it said Sam Darnold completes a pass to Crowder, but then he fumbles. Defense recovers. Adam Gase calls the sidelines together, addressing the team in midfield, and that's the end of practice. Gase says some words after the scrimmage, like usual. He said that he pulled Le'Veon Bell out of practice because he was feeling tight, didn't want to risk it. Greg Van Roden has an, ob- an obliquo. It would be on screen right here. The word, I don't know how to pronounce that issue. Um, Something showed up that we have to get fixed, Adam Gase said. Bell's tightness was in his hamstring. Bell says some words later on that I'm about to get to. Um, Whatever the sense of urgency was, you need to keep increasing it. When things go wrong, those two find each other. Gase on Darnold hurting con- connection. They had a couple passes to each other, but then... Uh, right here, Gay said he was shocked that Darnold and Hurden didn't connect for that touchdown. Darnold threw an interception to Davis on the next play. Um, then he said that the Gay said that, uh, this is about Cager. Gay said that they weren't concerned with Cager's knee, but then it swelled overnight. Now he's getting an MRI that's swelling along the Jets a bit. Sounds like the Jets are going to add another receiver. Hey, hallelujah. Kevin White, I mean, the Adam Gase said that Kevin White is their option if we have any more injuries, if things go wrong. Dante Moncrief, we have heard no word about his visit to the Jets. Um, Bell, Bell said some stuff. He said, ain't nothing wrong with my hamstrings. Then he said, it's tough to stay loose when you do a bunch of standing around, and I'm used to going. So he's obviously a bit furious about him not being able to play. And then he said, exactly, I practice for a game. I need to practice to be great in games. Duh. Bell's getting feisty. He obviously does not like that he is, you know, right here. I ignorantly thought we'd at least get to get two games before the Bell is unhappy with my number of touches storyline began. Oh, my God. Come on, Adam. Jets running back Le'Veon Bell played two series in today's scrimmage against the preserve defense. On first series, he ran for no game. Then he called a swing pass. He played third series, too. Darnold threw a long pass to him right down the sideline that fell incomplete. And that's all the tweets from Connor Hughes right now. Um, and that last tweet was eight minutes ago, so I don't think he's tweeting anymore. Um, obviously, it is a couple weeks till kickoff starts. Uh, it's not tomorrow or the next day. The Jets have some time to work out things, maybe add a couple players on the pass rush, a couple players on the receiving core, um, and yeah, I hope that we, our team gets fixed, and if we have another scrimmage, I hope it doesn't go as bad as this one, so thank you guys for watching, if you are returning, welcome back, I love having you here, if this is your first time watching the New York Jetsons channel, make sure to subscribe, because I post New York Jets content like this every single day, and don't forget to turn on the notifications, and follow me on social media at Jujet, Instagram, and Twitter. It is also linked down below in the description. Um, hope practice, you know, hope it's not like this. We were looking good in practice, but obviously we weren't looking too good in the scrimmage. So thanks for watching, and as always, go Jets. Peace!